What's this supposed to be anyway? What a weird place for something like this. There you all are. Hey there, Faldio. I didn't know you were out here too. I'm an archaeology major, remember? I was ordered to observe the ruins interior. The shape of it really is unusual. I've never seen anything like it. I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm. Where could it have been? This building was supposedly erected millennia ago by the Valkyrie themselves. So they actually existed then? Yes. The Valkyrie make a sudden appearance in European history thousands of years ago. Records say they brought with them incredibly advanced technology and divine might. Then one day, their history just ends. The Valkyrie just disappeared. I always thought they were just a myth. That's it. I remember now. Remember what, Welkin? What are you shouting about? The Dread Nautilus. This structure looks just like a Dread Nautilus. A Dread Nautilus? What's that? You don't know? They're marine cephalopods. They live inside pointy spiral shells. And these ruins look just like that shell. I wonder if there's some connection there. Welkin, you can be such a... What's up? Nothing. Forget it. Right. Let's take a look inside then. We may find some clue to why the Empire is out here. Alicia, I want you to come help Faldio and me look around inside. Largo, Rosie, and Isara, you stay here. Be on the lookout for movement in the area. All right, sir. Please be careful. Tell me, Silvaria, do these walls offer an answer to our search? I pray, where sleeps the ancient power? What do you read, child? Valkor, the holy lance, scorcher of the vast earth, asleep eternal in the bosom of Ranmeets. Made pillar of its keeper's keep, kept thereby for eon without end. Then it's true. The sacred lance lies buried within Ron Grease's walls. But your grace, how do you intend to control the lance once it is found? <laughs> Worry not. A beast fit to bear that burden will soon be at our disposal. With this, our dream is made hard fact. Our crown shadow will extend to all of your own. Chapter 7. The Battle at Varius. I'll miss the squad, Welkin. Feel free to call on me anytime. Thanks for the good times, boss. My name is Cesare Regard, and I'll handle things my own way, thank you.
Salinas Milton, at your service. out with so much left to do. Look, give me a call if you need anything. You're handsome. I know you'll take real good care of me. Come back any...
amazing, isn't it? I was surprised when I first came here, too. It's... There aren't any windows or skylights in here, but it's still so light. The ruins are made of stone with a high ragnite concentration. It lights itself. It's uncanny. Look at this. Something's written on the wall here. It's an old northern script. Old northern? It was the dominant writing system in Europa. You still see it on a lot of old monuments. Do you know how to read it, Valdio? Yeah, we just covered it this last year. Let's take a look. It's more or less a recounting of the Darkson calamity as the history books tell it. The Darksons unlocked some secret property of Ragnite and tried to conquer the continent. A hundred cities raised its fell light, ten hundred thousand men and beast therewith. It says this area used to be one of the cities lost in that purge as well. So they did use Ragnite. It was in the middle of that destruction that the Valkyrer suddenly came into the picture. Supposedly they rose to face the Darksons, armed with sacred lances, blue with flame. That became the War of the Valkyrie. I had a picture book about that as a girl. But it's fiction, right? Like a fairy tale. Ruins like these dot the Europa map, traces of the culture that once ruled the continent. The majority of the anthropological community now agrees that the Valkyrie did exist. The Valkyrie won and rose to power, while the Darksons were scattered across Europa. There are some who worship the Valkyrie as the saviors of Europa even today. Meanwhile, the Darksons got branded with the stigma of their past and were persecuted. With no land of their own, they had to work as itinerant laborers and ragnite miners. Which is why there are so many Darksons still working in the industrial sector today. Isara's dad was an engineer, wasn't he? Anyway, that's enough history for today. Let's keep checking for Imperial tracks. I've been looking, but I still ain't seen nothing but sand. Those imps got some strange tastes if they're sunning themselves out here. What's got you, Rosie? Ain't like you to be so quiet. You got the runs or something. You're foul, Largo. And I'm just annoyed. Takes some kind of brass to blow up a chunk of turf this big, don't you think? Looks like the Dark Hairs have been bad news for the rest of us folks since day one. What do you mean by that? <sighs> what do you think I mean? No archaeological proof exists to support the theory that Darkson's destroyed Barius. Look around! How much more proof do you need? And it's an unfair generalization to assume that all Darkson's cause trouble for others. You saying you don't? Look, it's cause of you people that I, that my whole... All right, time out, you two. You stay out of this, Largo. We're on patrol here. You keep squawking, and we're likely to get sniped. Shh. You too, kid. You know Rosie's got a temper on her. She wouldn't go off if you didn't talk back. I don't believe anything I've said is untrue. Stubborn as mules, both of you. Falio, what is that? It's called the Valkyrian Spiral. Okay, so what is it? 
I was talking about their power before, remember? The sacred blue flame? The spiral motif on their relief carvings are said to represent inexhaustible power. Oh, I didn't know that. Still, we haven't seen any Imperials here. Not even any signs of entry. I guess it's possible that this wasn't what brought the Empire out here. Well, the others are waiting. Let's go back. Sure, let's go. Huh? What about it? Alicia, what just happened? I, I don't know. I barely even touched it and this door just opened. Oh. Looks like it keeps going. An underground chamber in the Barius ruins. This is a huge discovery. Should we go in? Do you have to ask? All right, let's take a look. Whoa, what is this place? It seems like it goes on forever. everywhere. What do they say, Faldio? I'm not sure. I wish I could tell you they're too ancient for me to decipher. Welkin! We're not alone. Who's there? Well, how surprising to find you here. We don't get many visitors. I won't ask how you were able to break in. It's not really important. But you defile this sanctum with your presence. Uh, guys, that's Maximilian. Maximilian? Wait, but he's the enemy commander. Hold it right there! You take one more step and I'll shoot you down, I swear I will! Ugh! What? Lower your weapon. Your lives are worthless to me, but I do not wish to stain this sacred place with blood. If you are determined to have this confrontation, why don't we settle it outside? Welkin. Welkin. So, you're the brat who's responsible. My compliments for the vassal bridge and the base in Cloden. You quite impressed Jaeger. He was singing your praises, boy. Silvario, come. Sir. Oh, now's our chance to take out their commander. She's right, Faldio. Let's go. Uh... Right. Let me catch you up on the current situation.
commence combat now. Stay sharp out there. That tank is our target. We have to stop it. Squad 7, move out! <laughs> now, dear Galleons, flee or be crushed underfoot of the battles. Your Grace, I will eliminate the forces east of the temple, then return to provide support. Very well. Though I doubt I shall require your assistance. The Batamists shall rest atop their riven camp before long. Welcome. Take a look at that tank. Holy... With armor like that, I don't figure my anti-tank lance will do much good. And I don't like the look of that cannon. Standing in front of that thing's a bad idea. Let's watch and wait for now. It has to have some kind of weak point. <laughs> 